welcome back if you're new here my name is marina and today i'm starting on a weekend vlog so this weekend we're just gonna do like some things around the house we're doing one big thing around the house and then i'm gonna get like a little filler grocery haul i have to clean out my oven i've been putting it off for months and months and months so many things i have to do but i want to hop on here and introduce myself in case you're new before i got to any of that we also just got back from Lowe's in the dollar tree let me show you what we got at the dollar tree okay so first off i got a pumpkin spice latte from mcdonald's it tastes like dookie it tastes like the coffee has been fermenting in toilet water for about 600 days that's what that tastes like i got these little squares they're the wood planks i thought these would be really cool for a diy the girls have been loving doing bracelets making friendship bracelets if you're on my instagram you saw jc made both me and shane a friendship bracelet out of a gift that Shane's mom uh, got her. So Shane's mom came over for a visit. We rarely get to see her. So it's always a treat when we get to see her. And she brought them like little bracelet kits and stuff like that. And JC loved it. Jolie did too. But JC really fell in love with making everybody friendship bracelets. So we got her some of these. I didn't even know Dollar Tree carried stuff like this. But she saw it and she was like. <gasps> and she didn't even ask for it. And I was like JJ what? And she's like look. And Shane said do you see the beads? And she's like yeah. And I was like girl why didn't you? act like she my kids know if they see something they want they can ask for it so the fact that she was just so quietly admiring the beads like oh my heart my mama heart was like just oh i felt this in the christmas stuff because lo and behold everybody told me oh wait 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 all their fall stuff will be out no all their fall stuff is gone it's now halloween and christmas <laughs> so i've got some of this uh christmas ribbon in the blue and in the white i'm toying with doing blue and whites for christmas this year but i don't know i'm not I don't know. I'm going to walk in to the store and see what vibe I'm feeling before I pick. <laughs> I also found some of these. These are little paintable rocks. The kiddos love little things like this. And these are keepsakes that we can keep. These rocks won't get damaged like these cardboard things will. So they're always game for painting little rocks and stuff. They love anything to do with painting. I also found them these little cardboard ones though. We try to keep them around for as long as they'll last, but usually little things like that, if they don't go straight to our memory bins, then they get destroyed. <laughs> and then I found this little chalkboard easel. Oh, let's see here. I'm in love with that. So many things you could do for this for every season. I can't believe I've never seen one of these in Dollar Tree before, I don't think. Um, I've seen like the mini ones, but I've never seen ones like that. So I grabbed it. Y'all know... I turned to the orange side for fall this year and I'm loving it so I got me a little um, mug to go in between my hello pumpkin one and an orange one love it I also jackpot it says always be thankful and it's my buffalo plaid I was like I saw that there was only two left I was tempted to get both but I was like no we ain't gonna be greedy we'll let somebody else have a chance at the other one then that'll be their blessing for the day <laughs> I also found these um, fall like what is this called? Mitten. Is that a mitten? Mitten. <laughs> and a towel. Napkin? Towel. Paper napkin. I don't know. <laughs> I got these because, you know, orange. I think I'm going a little bit obsessively with the orange. I, that's why I think it's, it's a, I don't know, like it's a temporary thing. I may wake up tomorrow and hate the orange, but right now we're loving it. Colton and Shane saw this and they had a fit over it. We passed this and JC said, one day, mama, can I get that pink cup? And I was like, one day is today, girlfriend. So her and Jolie got these. Um, they're BPA free, they say. So hopefully, as long as we don't put them in the dishwasher, they should survive. Then I found these little crates. I mainly got these to try out something I saw on TikTok. I meant to get them whenever I did the DIY video, but go figure. Back when I did that video, they didn't have nothing. And now they're stocked up with all kinds of craft stuff. Cameron walked by the googly eyes and said googly eyes and grabbed them. I don't know what he planned on doing with those, but I'm sure in one of my videos you'll see googly eyes on something. And then he saw this Paw Patrol coloring book and he said, Paw Patrol. And he grabbed for it and he said, please. And I was like, oh, you know, I can't say no when you say please. So this is what we got at Dollar Tree, just a small little haul. All their fall stuff, I was really disappointed that I waited and then all their fall stuff was gone. But it's okay. I've got plenty of fall stuff. Um, I didn't have anything like this. I was going to get something like this at TJ Maxx and I decided against it. I'm glad that they at least had these because it kind of ties in my whole fall vibe I got in my house. But... As far as what we got at Lowe's, we got some more hardware for cabinets. We got these little hardwares for cabinets because we got a 
three tall cabinet cabinet for our cans and our dry goods which i'm so excited about it's still out in the truck shane had to poop first ain't that like a man i get something so exciting and i'm like let's get it in the house let's get it in the house he's like i gotta poop first so <laughs> i'm waiting on him to get done so we can bring that in the house uh and get that in i think he got the finished one i sent him in there for the unfinished one and i think that he got the finished one because that's the only one they had and he said that they didn't even have it marked for the floor they hadn't even got to do that yet like he walked past it on a crate thing grabbed it and took it up front and they had to like make a whole number for it because they hadn't put it in the system yet that was the only one i'm thankful that we didn't have to go to another town because the other town online said they had 18 in stock but i don't know how true that is because this one said they had a few in stock as well and they didn't so i can't, I can't wait to get that in here though and see what we can do with it i'm excited to have more room and i'm excited to get these out from behind here <laughs> i'm excited to give those to their new families so that i can have my free space back there again so as soon as he gets done doing his business I just saw a kid run past me. <laughs> as soon as he gets done doing his business, then we're going to get those in. And we measured, so they should fit. Y'all, look how cute it looks. I love it. That's cute. Good morning, y'all. It's Saturday morning. We got the hardware on these, but if you look over here, it's a different color. Shane says it's not, but it totally is. This is a more, I don't know, it looks kind of creamish. Um, and then those are bright white. So I'm going to be painting these. I got to take the hardware back off so I can paint them. I'm going to do that later, but I'm not feeling so hot. Last night, I got like a small fever. It was really odd. I don't get fevers often or anything like that. I got a small fever and I laid on the couch and me and Shane watched Prison Break and I chilled off and on and it was really odd so this morning I woke up and I'm still not feeling 100% like I'm just my body temperature is weird but Shane made me Theraflu um and you gotta drink it all and I'm not excited about it oh that's is that what your videos this weekend 
Come with me on my journey as I drink this whole cup of Theraflu. This is going to take me the whole weekend <laughs> to drink. <laughs> so I'm not excited about it. But he also, since I'm not feeling hot and I'm not feeling like doing breakfast this morning, he's going to call us in. You already he's called already us called in. in. He called weird. us in um, Waffle House. So he's heading off to get the breakfast. It'll only take him a few minutes. So I'm going to tidy up around here um, until he gets back with breakfast. Does it feel like fall? Yeah, this is like absolutely perfect weather. It's fall. Yes, it's fall time. My porch is so confused. I love you. Okay, now that he's gone, I'm not drinking this. I love the gesture, but it's not going to happen. Let me, let me at least taste it so I can say, oh, it was gross. Oh, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I'm gonna try it so I can say, ooh, it's gross. <laughs> I feel you, Cammy. <laughs> nope. Mm -mm. So now I'm gonna make me something in here so I can be drinking on it when he gets back and he won't know. Hold that thought, hold that thought. All right. What are we gonna get up here? I've been really liking this Black Rifle Chocolate one. Shane got the um, Five Finger Death Punch one. And I had my regular Dunkin' ones, but I'm gonna use this one. Ooh, that taste. And then open that thingy. And I'm gonna be spilling it like always. I need to get on dishes. I'm gonna spill this. I always spill it, especially when me looking through a camera. Oh, hurry, hurry, hurry. Just get as much as you can in there. There you go. <laughs> Talent. Okay. Close that up. Hit my button. I need to put these things up to wash. I don't have a lot of dishes to do. Just a few cups and a bowl and a pan. Yo, what the heck happened here? Watch my little straw scrubber thing. What the flip? Oh, that looks really dark. That looks like sludge level. It smells good though, so that's a plus. I'm starving. I didn't eat a lot yesterday. Still doing low carb, but I'm not pressuring myself. Um, I'm, I have Pepsi down here, so that if I get a hankering for something sweet, I can drink a third of a Pepsi. Like open a Pepsi, pour a third into a glass, drink it. And that's how I've been doing it lately. It makes it more maintainable for, for me. Because I would love to be someone who is super self-disciplined about things like that. But just honestly, I'm not right now. And that's okay. I'm more disciplined than I was, like, per se, let's say, last year. Um, so, that I mean, you know, all in moderation. Somebody told me in the comments, one of my friends in the comments said... Uh, they were talking about how they had lost so much weight over a course of a long period of time and they'd done it how Dolly Parton told them to do. And she said to eat what you would normally eat, but eat half of it and do like six small meals a day. And I don't necessarily do that because I do try to stay on the low carb side because I'm, I'm really heavy and when you're really heavy and you have a lot to, of weight to lose, you need some kind of structure in your diet. Um, if I didn't give myself structure, then I would relapse. Um, so I'm not necessarily doing that, but that is great inspiration for the method that I do do, which is try to stay low carb. And on days that I don't stay on low carb, it's okay. It's okay to not be low carb all the time. Being low carb all the time is not maintainable, not for me anyways. So I'm getting smothered hash browns this morning and I'm getting a bacon, egg and cheese sandwich and I'm going to eat it. And then for dinner tonight, I'm not sure what I'm doing for dinner. Speaking of dinner, I need to thaw out something. I just don't know what. I think we'll thaw out chicken. Yeah. We'll thaw out chicken. Bless Johnny. Oh, I got it. Okay. I was looking for my bowl. My big bowl. I was reading my comments this morning. I'm filling up my water for my chicken to thaw it out in. But I was reading my comments this morning. I've been here lately. I've been getting to my comments at different times, not just in the first hour, because when I just do it in the first hour, I miss a lot of people. So I've been trying, I usually get anywhere from like 800 to 1,000 comments per video. So it's really hard to get back to everybody. But I've been popping in at different times to catch people I wouldn't normally catch within the first hour. 
So I've been getting to talk to a lot of you guys who I've missed because shoot, a lot of you guys are from out of the country. So a lot of you guys, when it's seven o'clock here, it's like midnight over there. Some of my UK people stay up till midnight to watch these videos. And I'm like, ah, oh. so I'm trying to, I'm trying to like space it out in different times and just pop in when I can and get back to some comments and then leave and then pop in when I can and get back to some comments. That way nobody feels left out. I don't ever guys, I don't ever want you guys to feel ignored. I never just look at a comment and don't respond. I either always respond with a heart or a comment or a comment and a heart. If I see it, I will absolutely respond to it. I won't ignore you, I promise. But speaking of that, this morning I've chatted with a friend that I haven't seen in my comments for a while because they don't get to the video the same day that it's posted and so that made my day i didn't even i was worried about them and i, I had been searching for them because i can search for people in my comments and uh i can go to like the youtube studio search a particular name and find where they've commented at so some of you guys i've known since i started my youtube channel you've been with me since like 300 subscribers and so like I go, I remember your name, I, I never forget your name. There are people that don't show up anymore and it breaks my heart because like I remember them and I'm like, oh, I wonder where they are, are they okay? That's the downside of being on this side of YouTube is if something were to happen to me, you guys wouldn't know it. But if something happens to you, I wouldn't necessarily know it unless somebody got in touch with me and told me about it. So I always like periodically like, go through my subscribers and those of you who like I chat back and forth to or those of you who have like introduced yourself and, and we've gotten to know each other over you know the last year I look for you guys and then I make sure that you're still here and so I'm, I don't worry that way uh, there are some that I've searched for and they're not here anymore and I'm worried I'm like I don't I don't know their name I just know like little kitty lover 692 <laughs> that's all I know so, so I can't look up nothing or get a hold of anybody or nothing so it leaves me in the dark so if you ever decide to leave just let me know I would much pre I would much rather you let me know than to just disappear on me because then I'm worried sometimes I think about it all the time and I'm like I hope that they're okay like I hope they're alive I hope they're well I pray for them but it's still it, it worries my my heart to know like what potentially could have happened to him anyways what was I talking about oh yeah I talked to an old friend this morning that I hadn't got to catch in the comments for a while and then one of my friends I caught a comment and she said Shane I know Shane loves you but he called you something in the last video and maybe you guys should look up what that means and I was like huh and I looked back and I heard what he called me, which is something we call each other all the time. I literally call him that once a day. And I was like, that means something odd? So I went and looked it up. Oh my gosh, I was humiliated. Humiliated. Humiliated isn't the word. I've called my dad that. Like, <laughs> I, I'm not going to tell you what word it is. I'm not ever, it's not ever going to protrude out of my mouth again. Is that the right word, protrude? I don't know. <laughs> but if you want to know what word it is, you can go back and watch that video and listen to what he called me whenever he came home from work. And it's, <laughs> just if you say it, don't say it. Because I found out the hard way not to say it. I always use this big old bowl right here to thaw out my stuff in. It comes in handy. I don't use it for anything else. I think it's like a container. Yeah, I have a lid. I have a lid up there to match it um so i think you're supposed to store food in it i've never stored food in it but i've always thawed my meat out in it i don't know if i'm feeling warm coffee or cold coffee today i think we're gonna do warm coffee if i do do hot coffee do i have a cup to do cold coffee in uh, we're doing hot coffee right yeah we're doing hot coffee i made a grocery pickup order Cammy got into something sweet this morning and he is off the wall <laughs> hyper. Sugar does something to him. He's off the wall excited today. <laughs> Are you excited? Say, I'm, say, mom, I just got so much energy. I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I don't know how much sugar. Whenever I drink hot coffee, I got to have more sugar than if I were to drink cold coffee. Um... So, I'm not going to put stevia in it. I usually put stevia in it, but stevia has been messing with my stomach, which is odd because it never has before. Um, I've tried Truvia. Those are all like um, zero calorie sugars. If you don't know what I'm talking about, they're zero calorie sugars. I've tried Truvia. It messes with my stomach. I've tried, um, there's one thing I want to try that someone mentioned to me a while back. can't remember the name of it. 
not Octavia. Ain't that a yogurt? Um, no, <laughs> it's a, ah, oh, it's like agape fruit or something like that. I, agape? No, I don't know what it is. It's something. It's a more healthier sugar option than granulated sugar and regular sugar. Um, but whenever I do a hot coffee, hi baby, <laughs> hug. Are you happy today? Are you happy, baby? I'll be happy. You happy? You ate a lot of sugar this morning, didn't you? Sugar. Yeah, sugar. He said, patty cake, patty cake. All right, patty cake. Roll it up, roll it up. Roll it up, roll it up. Roll it up. <laughs> Throw it in a pan. Show him how you roll it up. Tony? He loves the roll it up, roll it up part. Patty cake, patty. Oh my god. Patty cake. No, we gotta sing the song no. right. Patty cake. Patty cake. Mom jumped out her medicine. What? Are you kidding me? Hey. Huh? You needed to drink that. I I drank some. No, you had to drink it all. I told you it don't work unless you drink it all. Who told you I didn't? Come on. Traitor. <laughs> Excuse me. You're sick. I'm going to put some milk in here because I don't have any creamer. I ordered some on the Walmart pickup app for tomorrow's grocery pickup. Let me try this coffee. <coughs> oh, that's really sweet. I think I put too much sugar. All right, I'm gonna get everybody's food together. Okay, this is what I got. I got smothered hash browns with cheese and smothered onions. Smothered covered chunk. <laughs> smothered covered chunk makes it sound gross. Mm. With cheese and onions and ham, and then a bacon, egg, and cheese sandwich. I'll probably only eat half of this. I tried getting Shane to split it with me, but he don't like stuff like that, so. Well, I like biscuits, but I'm not a fan of their sandwiches. You don't like their sandwiches? No. They look really good. This will do me for probably today and tomorrow's breakfast. We got something in the mail. You won't believe what we got. It talks. It talks. It talks. Are you sure? <laughs> Welcome to Cameron's house. This is an episode of Cribs. You want to show off your house? Show us your house. House. Show us your, your house. House. I picked you up. You picked you up. I'm going to pick you up. Oh, here. I'll get in your house with you and I will pick you up. Right. Okay. Oh, you're getting heavy. All right. Now we're in his house. Where right. is your house, We love Cammy? you. Where's Cammy? Ah. Ah, there he is. Where's Cammy? Ah. Ah. Get in there. <laughs> I don't like Mary Poppins. Let me free. Oh, gosh. Cammy's got me. Cammy, turn around. Ah. Ah. Okay, so we finished breakfast, well brunch, because it was like a really late breakfast not too long ago. Um, I'm about to tackle these cabinets over here. I gotta paint them, I gotta get all the stuff in them, gotta get them semi-organized. I might have enough things to organize them completely, I don't know yet. But before I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and toss these dishes into the dishwasher because I'm trying to get on this thing to where I load my dishwasher all day long, like periodically throughout the day, and then run it at night and empty it in the morning because a lot of you guys have told me that helps you keep on top of your dishes. And that's, uh, since getting this dishwasher, Dishes have still kind of been out of control, just not as bad. So I'm learning it's a marina problem. <laughs> Shocker there, but I'm learning it's a marina problem. So I'm trying to, since it's a marina problem, at least marina can fix it. <laughs> so I'm trying to fix it, trying to just load it periodically throughout the day, and then run it at night, and then empty it in the morning, and do the whole thing all over again. So I'm going to get, I just have a few cups, and like a pan, and I think like a bowl, like hardly nothing. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this in the dishwasher and I'm gonna try to tackle up this pantry. I am excited about this pantry. If you've been here for a while, you know we had something similar to that whenever we first like started doing YouTube. We had a cabinet in the corner there that had like three doors on it. 
and we got rid of it. We ended up, we were going to like do a makeover on it, but we ended up demolishing it and taking it out. And a bunch of people were like, I don't understand why you would remove that space. Like that was extra space for you. What you guys didn't see was the condition they were in. It was about to collapse on itself. So we, we didn't have a choice. Whenever we got in there and we realized how weak like the shelves were and not even the shelves, like the whole frame itself was leaning. It was like the cheap um, particle board cabinets that these are back here that come with mobile homes. It was that and it hadn't been taken very well care of. So we ripped that out and left it open for a while. I toyed with leaving it open because, um, you know, I was hoping, thank you Jesus, to get a bigger fridge and we did. But still when I got the fridge, I realized we still have a lot of room and we could do like another cabinet there, a more sturdier one that will last us a while and that will give us the extra storage space we need for the cans and the box goods and all that stuff. Come to find out, it fits perfectly. It has like two inches to like wiggle in and around in. It couldn't have been a better fit. So hopefully this will help with our can storage and our dry goods storage. I know that was a lot of y'all's concern whenever I did the exposed pantry. Sometimes I do things and I don't explain why I'm doing it to you guys. It just doesn't cross my mind too. So then I leave y'all confused and you're like, wait, why did you erase all that space to put in an exposed pantry? The exposed pantry is functional. I have our cereals in it right now, all of our snacks, our sugar, flour, stuff like that. Easy accessible stuff for the kiddos because my kiddos have free range of the kitchen, of the fridge, of the pantry. When they're hungry, they go get something to eat. When they're thirsty, they go get something to drink. So that stuff being there out in the open also helps Cammy as well um, to know like what is hit. We have our names on our cereals. He knows that he can go up. He knows where things are. So it's easy. For, it's easier for him to get something that he wants. It's, sometimes it's really hard for him to communicate what he wants to me so he knows where everything's at he can just go over there grab what he wants and go on with his day so that's also why I did the exposed pantry it's not only because it's pretty it's gorgeous Shane did a great job on it but it's easily accessible for Kimmy and for our other kiddos sometimes whenever you add a lot of doors and you add higher shelves and you add all these extra things it's hard for little little bitty kids to get in it and get what they want you know you gotta think you got like a little three foot child trying to reach something on the top shelf or trying to get back in the back of the cabinet it's not as easy for them to get the things that they want for a little three foot walk a little three foot wall, you know versus walking up to the bookcase now and they can they can reach from the shelf of their cereal all the way down the only shelf above that is the flour and sugar and they don't they don't need to be playing in flour and sugar sugar anyway so that's what that was my thinking behind that so i think this will work out better for our family you know you gotta do what what works for your family um even if it looks a little funny to others you gotta do what works for your family i think this will really help out the kiddos this will really help out cammy and in the meantime it looks good so i'm going to get these dishes put away like i've said a thousand times and then i'm going to tackle the pantry we got kiddos back there doing chores but cammy tell them you want to show them what daddy drew you what is that what is that it's Brains. Brains. <laughs> Daddy drew Cammy a zombie. You want to smile? Here, hold it up and smile. Cheer. All right, say brains. Brains. <laughs> Don't talk about it like you're crazy. You know well I can't replace you. Just say what. Say what you mean, don't waste your time being mad at me Say what, say what you mean, say what you mean And you'll get, get what you need, get what you need What I do, what I do is try to give you more than words What I say, when I say I quit, it's only cause it hurts We got play, we got places we can go to figure out What we've done, what we need to do yeah i got you i got you i got you the way you look at me is absent it's like you're walking through a labyrinth just say what what's going on don't waste your time being all alone say what say what you mean say what you mean and you'll get Get what you need, get what you need What I do, what I do is try to give you more than words What I say, when I say I 
quit, it's only cause it hurts. We got play, we got places we can go to figure out what we've done, what we need what to do. Yeah, I got you, I got you, I got you. already finished and then I put satin interior paint on it and I always know if I don't use chalk paint and if it's kind of already got a smooth finish to it it's gonna bubble up the first coat of satin paint I do but usually around the third one it starts to flatten out and everything so I've got the second and a half one while that's drying a little bit I'm gonna get dinner started because it is 6 30 and um, I was gonna do Alfredo tonight but I don't think I'm gonna do Alfredo I think I'm gonna do sheep pan fajitas. Shane, does sheep pan, does sheep, Shane, does sheep pan fajitas sound good for dinner? You know I love fajitas. Okay, all right, we're gonna sheep pan fajitas.
So I'm using this new Taco Bell original fajita seasoning. I haven't tried this before, but we love Taco Bell. Well, I love Taco Bell. Nobody else in the family really likes Taco Bell because they don't really like tacos that much. I mean, we, they do, but like not, you know. They're like homemade versus Taco Bell, which is odd because I love Taco Bell. I usually just get the great value. Um, but he just eating them. But I saw this on the Walmart app and I was like, ooh, I love trying new things from the Walmart app. Okay, I got my oven on 425. I'm gonna cook it for 25 to 35 minutes. Probably 35 because we don't want some vanilla around here. We'd rather have dry chicken than be dry heaving. <laughs> It's burnt, burnt. So what are we gonna do? We have some options. Okay. There's Sonic. There's Arby's. There's Taco Bell. There's McDonald's. There's Hardee's, which I'm pretty sure nobody will ever eat there again. There's Waffle House, which we just ate at, so I don't think you want that. Wow, look at that sun. Mm -hmm. it's I wanna take them, hold on. Guys, I gotta show you the sunset. Go figure. Oh, look how pretty. Say what yo. Y'all, it's so pretty. But man, that's pretty. It's like orange, orange, like bright neon orange. Oh, also, I showed y'all on Instagram my flowers and I noticed I had a bottle in there on Instagram. Hey, I know what we need to do tomorrow. We need to come out here and wash this trailer down because I see it dirt <laughs> over here. See, look at that. Yeah, we gotta wash down the trailer tomorrow. I hope yeah. it don't rain. I don't care how these are window shields. You can't even close it. They're not window shields. I thought They're you shutters. Yeah, you can't even close them. Look, it's drilled. Yeah, it, I think it's just like it's decor. It's for show. I hate decor. They always ruin the moment. Birds are all they make. You, imagine, like, oh, sorry. You know, decorations of fruit. What if you get so hungry and you think it's real and you buy it? It turns out it's just plastic. <laughs> you're super hungry when you have no food. So that's why I don't like it. It's a deception, it? ain't it? Guys, Cammy's talking to the bird. Mama, there's the moon. Go ahead, caw caw to him. Caw caw. Caw caw. Caw caw. What are you saying to him? He knew who. All right, so I think Shane is going to go get. What are you going to go get? You tell me. Oh, did we not come up with this? Mm -mm. Bojangles. I can't eat Bojangles. Yeah, you need something soft. Okay, so Shane is going to get Arby's and saving the day. Sometimes it, it's a fail. I'm riding on my horse day down road. On daddy he's taking forever he says it didn't take him forever but look how dark it is outside Colton's gonna put a sticker on which one did you choose for me I got you you got this like I, you got this since uh, uh, even though uh, YouTube is hard you got this. I love you. See? Look. Tracy, come here. But I want you close. Ooh, ooh, closer than before. And no one knows. Ooh, ooh, that I want you close. I'm not I 
You're a wizard, Harry. <laughs> I know you hate it, so I'm doing it. I don't like Harry Potter. <laughs> Apparently, we're having choir practice because I was singing earlier. And listen, hold on. I can't even and walk. Without you holding my hand. <laughs> Father Abraham. And <laughs> the sun's flying. I wonder if ever you. Don't let the place in the wild. I don't think you didn't even know what it was. Don't do it! Awfully dangerous with the can of paint over there. Yeah, don't go near the can of paint. Whee! Ah! Colin! No, Colin! <laughs> 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 Wait, Colin, you Okay, I'm gonna clean up after dinner real quick. It's not much, but I'm going to tidy it up and then probably make some no bake cookies. For everybody. Shane, you feeling no bake cookies? I don't even know why I ask him. It's two AM and I can't fall asleep because 'cause I'm not tired. I'm thinking about the days we used to shine when we were young. I told you that we should start a band and reach for the sky. It's 2 a.m. and I can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can hear the raindrops falling. It's cold outside and I kind of feel like calling. But it's too late now. I just miss you. So Shane and I are going to watch a couple of episodes of Prison Break and then probably go to bed. Actually, Shane's probably going to play video games all night because it's a Saturday night. Because Saturday night. But in the morning we have to get our groceries. Get a little action in. Good Sunday morning. We just got back from picking up groceries. I got... A pumpkin drink um, because you know I'm, I'm a, I was I was gonna say I'm a Dunkin girl but I'm not 
Starbucks just requires, any Starbucks around here requires you to walk in because they're in like grocery stores. Nobody has time to put on actual pants to walk in and get an iced coffee. This one is the Pumpkin Cold Foam Cold Brew. It's super gross. But I'm going to let Shane show you what we got at Walmart. We just did like a simple, I didn't get any meats or anything. I have a ton of meat stocked up in the freezer. So I'm going to let Shane show you what we got. It's Sunday morning and we just got groceries. I think Rena just said that she kind of gave me my intro. But I'm here to give you the outro. Let's do this. So first up, we've got some Flip Sides Originals. These are pretzel flavor. Bet they'll taste yummy. We've got some Prego meat sauce. You know how we are about that stuff. That stuff is amazing. Rena made Sketty the other night and it was awesome. We got some Mountain Trail Mix. Rena likes that junk. <laughs> we got some chicken nuggets. Hold up, hold up. Gotta get that in at least one time. Next up, we've got some chicken breast strips. These actually look really good, I'm not gonna lie. Think about having those bit taters for dinner tonight. We've got some Caesar salad. Um, next up, we got some pepper and onion blend. I'm down for that. That's got onions in it too, mm -hmm. cool. Then we've got uh, some steak fajitas. This looks super good. Yeah, this I saw really this good. on the app and I was like, holy moly, I bet me and Shane would really like that. The kiddos probably won't. We'll have to do chicken nuggets yeah, for them. I'm down for this. But this looks really good. That looks super good. We got some butter. Uh, Rena's got cheese dip. I think Colton eats that too, doesn't he? I could drink it. We got three things of ricins. Uh, we got some hard salami. I don't know why we didn't get soft. <laughs> we got some turkey breast. We got some cream cheese spread here. We got some snapped cheese thin and crispy. Oh, that actually Cheddar looks pretty good. Those are great. Me and Colt love yeah, those. I'm going to give those a shot. We got some Chester's puff corn. Some real bacon pieces. Yeah, they look real, real. We got some Snyder's. Field pieces. They're peanut butter peanut filled. Butter. Oh, that's cool. Really like kind of like Reese's in a way, though. Well, except for chocolate. They don't have chocolate, but you know what? We got some popcorn. We got some sugar. Uh, apparently, I've been told I am going too fast. I'm blowing through the grocery haul right now, so let's go slow, shall we? I've got some mild banana pepper. You're a giant fart. Even that, <laughs> a giant wet fart. We got some light brown sugar. What's that for? Uh, oh, punk, I'm making pumpkin muffins. Oh, cool. We got some breaded chicken breast strips. Um, we got some flour because if you saw baking the other day we we needed some flour didn't yeah. we we yeah. ran out of pancake mix baking yeah. stuff we got some chips what is this crave i thought the kiddos might like that i don't think they ever tried it literally if you mix these two you would have a reese's concoction i'm just saying we got some sweet tea and we got some dr peppers some dr pepper bottles Coke bottles. Did I do the grapes? I don't think I did the grapes. So here are the grapes. These are the grapes of wrath. And then we got two things of water here. We got God's gift to earth and bread. Yeah, tell everybody whose Twinkies those are. We don't even get one. Let me tell you what. I will share a Twinkie. You but no, 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 no. I will share a Twinkie. What I do not accept is the thievery of Twinkies, okay? We, we have a clear thievery problem in this household <laughs> of Twinkies. So there you have it. I just got done doing the grocery haul. Kind of my job now. Hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna turn it back over to Rena. Rena? So Shane's teaching JJ some self-defense okay. moves, but I'm going to write out my menu for the week. That way I can stick to it and not forget it like I did last week. Last week I forgot completely what I had put on my menu because I didn't write it down. So we're going to start down here, which is tonight, Sunday. We're going to have, Shane, what do you want for tonight? What's your story? 
What's your sign? It's like we're twin flames in a different life. Deep connection, lights a spark. It's like you know me in the depths of my heart. We're dreamers. Okay, so here's my meal planner for this week. It's going to be simple. We're going to do tonight, we're doing fajitas, the steak fajitas that you guys just seen Shane haul. And then Monday, we're doing my pizza bake. I've shown that a thousand times on here. Everybody always asks for it, and I've shown it a thousand times, like just periodically throughout all my content. I do, I show it in Day in the Lives. I show it in What's for Dinner, I believe. I've shown it in all kinds of videos. Um, it's simple. You just get one of those pizza kits, the Chef Boy RD ones, and you just stack all the ingredients. And then we're going to have easy chicken strips and baked potatoes. I'm excited to try those Purdue chicken strips. They look really good. We got spaghetti and garlic bread. Spaghetti is basically a weekly staple here because everybody loves it. And it's hard to find something that everybody in this house loves. <laughs> Um, hamburger casserole, I've been making that for years. It used to be one of Shane's favorites, and I did not like it. And then Shane kind of got foundered on it, and I started to like it. Go figure. <laughs> so, this one, um, we, we'll all eat as well. If somebody, if somebody doesn't like these, then they always have a lunch option over here that they can go back to. Like, if I don't make my kids eat everything that we eat so like i know that sometimes parents sit their kids at the table and they wait until they eat and it's a battle and stuff like that i try to give them options because i mean think about it like this if i go to long john silvers i don't like seafood i don't ever eat seafood thankfully they have other options because i wouldn't eat seafood because i don't like seafood does that make sense i know that's that's not the popular opinion i know you know but I don't cook a bunch of different things a lot of the times. But I do make sure that they have things over here that worst case scenario, if they don't eat what the majority is eating, they always have an option. That's just the way I, I do it. That's just the way I like to do it. Um, then, let's see. We're going to have breakfast for dinner, which is like biscuits and gravy, um, sausage, bacon, eggs, pancakes, stuff like that. That night, they'll have a ton of options, so everybody will eat that. Hamburger steak. I'm just going to do some hamburger patties with the frozen peppers and onions. Y'all saw us haul. And then we'll start the next week over on the next page. But for breakfast ideas, we've got some cereal, pancakes, eggs, Pop-Tarts, and oatmeal. And then um, and for lunch, we've got sandwiches, Hot Pockets, chicken nuggets, and, um, you know, grilled cheeses, stuff like that if they want that. Plus, we've got canned uh, ravioli. We've got can all kinds of canned soups. We've got uh, pizza rolls. Oh, I need to write that down just so I don't forget that. Pizza rolls. Um... And then for snacks, we've got things like chips, popcorn, grapes, fruit, vegetables, all, kind, all kinds of stuff. So that's what this week looks like menu-wise. I know that what I was talking about, about the kids having options, I know that's the unpopular opinion. But in my mama mind, I would just much rather them have something in their stomachs rather than nothing just to prove a point. If that makes sense. Like, not hating on anybody who does that. You know what is best for your family, period. I am nobody to tell you how to parent your children. I am nobody to tell you how to run your home. But as for me, I just can't wrap my mind around eat this or starve and I know it also prepares them for hard times and I think that's very smart I think you know it's smart to teach kind of develop your child's palate to have like a wide variety of locks just in case something happens because you know hard times come and when we least expect it and sometimes you can't afford the Doritos you know sometimes you can't afford the option sometimes it's this or it's nothing so I think it's important to prepare them for that but my children and their palate isn't their fault. I conditioned my kids to like the things that they like. I, I fed into it for a long time. So who am I to come in and all of a sudden change it and be like, it's this, my way, or the highway? That's my mindset when it comes to it. Um, you know, I, I fed them the chicken nuggets when they were little. I gave them the mac and cheese. I did all these things, and now 
being the mom I am today versus the mom I was then. Now I come in and try to change it and it's really not fair for them because I made them that way. So I slowly do it. I do put things on their plate that they are, like we do try them. But it's not eat all of this or sit here. It's try this. At least try it. If you don't like it, that's okay. If, if it's gross, that's okay. You don't have to eat the whole thing, but at least try it. That way we're making some progress with the healthy foods. With, with you know, my, my girls, they love healthy foods. One of my girls will eat anything I put in front of her. But my boys, I was a, you know, we, as parents, we go through seasons. As parents, we go through seasons, and I wasn't the mom for them that I was for my girls, and I wasn't the mom for my girls that I am now. So, I'm, I'm a firm believer that mom life is seriously correcting things that you do got wrong <laughs> in the beginning. It's just, it's a whole, it's a whole season in itself. Even with the grown children, it's a season of trying to correct things that you got wrong because nobody gets it all right. So, this is something that I do, it's, like I said, it's not, I don't expect everybody to do that but it's just how it's how my mind works um, I just same thing um, with discipline I don't I don't see how causing my children pain can benefit them in any way right as a parent like it's your safe place this is your home this is your safe place this is where you, we root for you we're in your corner you you so, I don't know. I'm not going to get into that right now. But this that's just how I do it. Because, you know, I go to restaurants all the time that have things that I don't like. And what happens? I choose another option. I don't know, y'all. I, I, I may be getting it all wrong. I don't know. I still don't have it all right. But that's just how my mind works these days. Especially knowing what I know now. Being through what I've been through going through the experiences our family has experienced it's it's it just feels right right now so i want to get this stacked pantry over here filled up because we still have the groceries well everything that's not cold on the table and then we still have the pantries over there full of stuff so we need to move it to that pantry <laughs> What's your type? Somehow I wanna know all about you. Deep connection, lights a spark. You already know me when we dance in the dark. We're dreamers. Shane, Shane, open it up now, Shane, 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 if you love me, if you love me, are you kidding, you're like a toddler. Listen, it's actually pretty nice in there, I see why babies are so like comfortable in their mama's bellies. I mean, that's, I get in the field position, and man, I could have gone to bed. Get out. There. It was very comfortable. Get out. I'm tell, well, I'm having kind of issue. What? Because even though I have the heart of a child, I have the body of a fat 33-year-old. <laughs> it's not working out. If you got in there, you can get out. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, so Shane's going to finish getting that loaded, but so far, it's super organized. It doesn't look like it, but it is. I'm going to start on dinner. Heck yeah. This is what will happen. The stuff that Shane hauled. I'm super excited. We've never tried this before, so we're going to try this. Okay, so the smell is super strong. Um, it says to just put it all on a baking sheet and bake it at 375 for 20 minutes. It will be quite a bit. Not a lot of steak, I'll have to say. I give me more onion than anything. We're just gonna pop it in here. And I'll let you guys know what we think of it. 
So here's the fajita. Me and Shane have a thing about putting mustard on our fajitas, <laughs> but I almost burnt these. Like I Again. came so close to almost burning them. I... Y'all, these are pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. There could be a little bit more steak in them. Uh, maybe, I don't know. You can definitely tell that they're off brand, but I mean, they're good. They're good. Nothing to complain about here. All right, so we're going to eat these. I hope you guys have a blessed morning, even not whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you more. We're going to see y'all tomorrow. We're going to try to have four videos out this week, so hopefully, prayerfully, we'll be able tomorrow, to get at least four up. Tomorrow, I, I love you guys. I love you tomorrow. You're only a day.